Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into the games in Major League Baseball for August the 29th, I ask you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section which has all the tools that you need to make your picks. So, as we're getting down into the home stretch of the baseball season, the playoff races are well underway, they're heating up, and there's some important matchups here for the weekend, and there's a full slate of games, so let's get started. So, as we take a look here, Arizona and Philadelphia, we're not going to look at that one, St. Louis and Pittsburgh, Tampa Bay and Baltimore. The first one we want to look at here, as we scroll down the list, is the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians. The Red Sox enter play third place in the American League East, and the Indians are second in the American League Central. You can see that Boston is average up at the moment. They are, have won four out of their last six, and Cleveland is burning hot. They have won five out of their last six. You notice that neither team has named their starting pitcher yet, so check back closer to game time to see if that has changed. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see that Cleveland is at plus 22, and Boston, they were at plus 24 just a few days ago, and they have dropped down to plus 13. If you're considering the over and under in this game, Take a look at the totals predictor. You can see that Boston is trending in games over the line, whereas Cleveland is also trending in games over the line, and they have done so for the better part of almost two weeks now. Let's look at the scores predictor. You see the scores predictor up top here. Cleveland with a 9-1 to one edge with almost 70% confidence. That's a very good indication to bet on Cleveland, and I think that betting the over might be a smart play just even though the scores predictor doesn't show that, I believe that uh, Boston's going to score a few more runs than what is predicted here. And Cleveland's going to score a lot. So I pick Cleveland to win and pick the over. Next game we want to look at is to the, the Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers. You see that both teams are not playing very well lately. Both average down. Uh, Toronto's 3-3 three three over the last six. And the Tigers, coming off of a loss, they are also 3-3 three three over their last six. The Blue Jays have to play fourth place in the American League East, and the Tigers are third in the American League Central. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Detroit has a plus 20 to plus 11 advantage. You can see Detroit has gone on a steep uphill climb from zero back on August 22nd up to that plus 20 points where they are right now. Um, the Tigers have not yet named their starting pitcher for this game, but the Blue Jays have, and it's Jose Barrios. He is 8-7 with a 3.70 ERA. And you can see on the pitcher profit oscillator, he has not been a good bet at minus $265. The totals predictor has Toronto under the line. And you see that Detroit has now dipped under the line in their last matchup. The scores predictor shows Toronto with a 7-5 advantage with a 78% level of confidence. That's, that's a pretty high level of confidence. So what I think is going to happen here is I believe that you should probably avoid the over and under because of the conflicting reports and the information between the totals predictor and the scores predictor. But I believe that the Blue Jays will come away with a road win. Nationals and the Mets. That could be a good National League East matchup. We're not going to take a look at that one. Here's a very good matchup. This could be the one of the day. The San Francisco Giants and the Atlanta Braves. Both teams are in first place in their respective divisions in the National League. You can see that San Francisco is burning hot at the moment. Winners of five out of the last six. And the Braves, after winning their previous four, lost their last two to the New York Yankees and they are at average status. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that trend. San Francisco up to plus 26. And you can see Atlanta has dropped over the last few days because of those two losses, down to plus 18. Neither team has named their starting pitcher as of yet. The scores predictor has the Giants in a huge margin of win by 7-1 with a very high level of confidence of 86%. What does the total predictor tell us about the over and under possibilities? Well, you can see San Francisco is trending in games way under the line here. And you can see that Atlanta has been trending in games under the line just lately. This is a very good indication to bet the under. I think the under is the way to go. It's going to be, I think, almost a sure thing. I think this game is going to be a low-scoring contest, but I think the Giants will continue to roll and come away with the win. 
the Battle of Chicago. This should be pretty interesting. I did not really make a pick on this, but if you want to take a look at that, you can. It could be a very interesting game between the two teams in the Windy City. Brewers and Twins, Houston and Texas. The next game I want to look at is right here, the Colorado Rockies at the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers are burning hot at the moment. They have won five out of their last six, and the Rockies are average status at the moment. They are three and three over their last six. Antonio Sensatella is scheduled to pitch for the Rockies. The Dodgers have not yet named a starter. Sensatella does not have a good record, two and nine with a 4.42 ERA, and you can see he's been a very poor bet at minus six hundred and forty-eight dollars. Take that into consideration when I'm looking to bet on this one. The power ranking indicator shows also that the Rockies actually have a plus 23 to, excuse me, that's the Dodgers. See, the Dodgers have a plus 23 to plus 14 advantage. And let's take a look at the total predictor for considering the over and under, which we always do. Look at this here with the Rockies. They have been trending in games under the line since August the 14th. So that's for the two-week period of time. And if we take a look at the Dodgers in that period of time, they are also been trending under the line. So this is a very, very strong indication to bet the under. Let's see what the scores predictor shows us. And the scores predictor shows much of the same. Look at this, a 4-2 edge for the Dodgers with 65% confidence. I think this is going to be a lock bet. I think it would be that the Dodgers win the game and bet the under. The Royals and the Mariners. And the Yankees and the Athletics. This is the last game we want to take a look at for today. Uh, the Yankees come in burning hot. They have won the last 12 games. You can see here in the last six how, how they have been very dominant. And there we go. You can see those last six games winning against Oakland, two against Atlanta, and three against Minnesota. The A's are dead stats. They have lost five out of their last six. Jordan Montgomery is scheduled to pitch for the Yankees against Paul Blackburn for the A's. Montgomery is... 5-5 five five with a 3.69 ERA, and look at this, plus $574, so he's been a strong bet on the pitcher profit. Also, Blackburn is 0-1 with a 4.09 ERA, minus $100, but he has a low sample size, so take that into consideration. If you look at the power ranking indicator, the Yankees here, not a surprise, steady as she goes, up at plus 29. And the A's, after being as high as plus 22 back on August 21st, have dropped and then remained steady at plus 6 over the last few days. The scores predictor gives the Yankees a 9-4 edge with 73% confidence. Totals predictor shows here, eh, close to the line right here for the Yankees. They have been close to the line for some time here. And look at the A's, they are a bit, a bit under the line over the last couple of days. I would probably uh, avoid the over-under in this case. It's not a clear-cut enough evidence in either direction to bet, that, to bet that, but I would go with the Yankees. They are just too hot right now. I do not see them losing to a stumbling Oakland team. Go with the Yankees to win and cover. So there you have it. Those are all the games for August the 29th, and I hope you will enjoy. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.